Hello, uh, this is my video about 12 ways that I am weird and I am going to try and fit them all into one video relatively short. Uh, this is Coda, as my nickname has been given to me. I was meant to give you a nickname. Hmm, I don't know. You say your names don't really stick, but one that uh, I think I gave you in part, was Aya Senpai, and I think I'm going to stick with that, because you are a snake in the zodiac, so it fits. Now, the first reason, number one, why I am weird, is I always catch on to everything late. Like, I didn't figure out that I liked theater until I went to college. I didn't get to Harry Potter at the same time that everyone else did. I was, I picked up on that late. Everything I pick up on late, I, I just can't seem to figure out things as fast as other people, like how cool things are. Uh, number two, I wish life was a musical. I love music, like almost any kind of music you could think of. Uh, I would probably like it, except I have two exceptions, um, which are polka music, and then maybe even polka music if, you know, I'm doing a polka, like if it's in the right circumstances, I wouldn't listen to it for recreation. And the second thing, under no circumstances will I listen to with any sort of joy in my life is Kids Bop. I don't know why it exists. I really don't. It baffles me. Number three, I am slightly OCD. Now, I will not say that I am full-blown, because those people, I feel bad for them, actually, because it's like, sometimes it's a hindrance on their life. But I do do some things that are kind of obsessive-compulsive, like I like to order my M&Ms by number, and then by color, well, by color, then by number. Uh, in no specific order, just as long as they're all separated into their colors and then by number, and then I eat them till they're even numbered, and then I can eat them row by row. Uh, yeah, and every time I have like a bottle of water or any bottled drink, and obviously I'm not done with this one yet, but if say I was eating a meal, I would take this off and put it in there after I was done drinking and take the wrapper off and put it in there. And then if there's anything left over from my meal, like napkins or something, I would probably stick it in there too. Yeah. Strange. I don't know why I've done that since middle school. Uh, I read fan fiction. That's right. I read fan fiction. I think that's weird enough in itself. I've actually written some, uh, which is going the next level up. Uh, I like it. I don't really have a reason why. I just do. And some of the people that write fan fiction are actually good writers. And I, I wish they would write, you know, real books that could get published because some of them have a lot of talent. Um, I've never broken a bone. Ever. Actually, I don't remember ever having a bruise either. Nothing. I've sprained my ankle before, but that's not the same as breaking a bone. Uh, never, ever, never have I. Uh, I love mustaches. I don't know why. I just do. I have for a while. And I liked it before it became like this huge thing where everybody loves mustaches. See, I even have a mustache. Bought it at an anime convention. That's probably another weird thing about me is that I go to those. But I don't think that's that weird, because they have pretty big attendance. Um, I am extra nerdy, let's be honest. If you looked around my room, you would know. Like, I like almost everything nerdy, except for Doctor Who. I just kind of can't get into it. But I guess I can appreciate why people like Doctor Who. But I am extra nerdy. I own a wand. Now, albeit, I got it for Christmas from someone, from someone awesome. But the fact that I have one in the first place, I think, is enough for me to be extra nerdy. Number eight. 
I am into horror, especially gory things like Hostel and Saw. And, oh, one of my favorite directors is Takashi Miike. If you don't know, he's a Japanese director. And he does, you know, scary movies like um, Audition and Ichi the Killer. And look those up if you haven't and you love horror like me because they're great. Uh, of course, you'll have to read subtitles. Sorry, but it's worth it. Um, I read about death and uh, dictators and serial killers a lot because for some reason that interests me. I even have a book right here called What a Way to Go by Geoffrey or Jeffrey, I guess, Abbott, and I was going to read you one of the shorter ones. I'll read you poison. Few executions by this means have been recorded, possibly because of the relative difficulty of administering the poison, but also because of the indeterminate time taken to die, this making it unsuitable as a public spectacle. In ancient Greece, at the time when Aristotle placed the executioner on a par with the judges themselves, the executioner took only a very minor part in ensuring that the death sentence was carried out, his only role being that of preparing the hemlock, that's poison, and presenting it to the condemned man who then drank it, a form of liquid harakiri, as it were. Yeah, this whole book is about different ways uh, that people were killed. Uh, the guillotine, the pendulum, the thousand cuts, the Spanish donkey. Now that's not kind of some kind of sex position. It's actually, you know, a way to kill someone. Such things I know as did you know that uh, Hitler was into coprophilia? Do you even know what coprophilia is? It's a sexual uh, disorder. Look it up. You won't be glad you did. Um, number ten. I love reading things in Old English and Elizabethan English. So I like, you know, Shakespeare and uh, I read the Canterbury Tales. I read the whole book. We were only assigned to read a few, but I read the whole thing because I liked it so much. Uh, number 11. I tend to gravitate towards evil people in media. You know, not real evil people like uh, Osama bin Laden and things, but, you know, made up evil people, people written to be evil, like some recent ones from Once Upon a Time. I love Mr. Gold. Uh, he's like, he's evil. We all know he's evil. Come on. Sue Sylvester from Glee. She is so mean and terrible, but, you know, let's be honest, she has some of the best lines in the show. And basically all bad guys in anime ever, because they have the best outfits and the best hair and the best storylines. Evil guys get all the girls, just so you know. Uh, and number 12, my name. I have many nicknames, and just like you, uh, and not a lot of them stick. A lot of them have to do with mothers, because apparently I'm very, I'm very motherly, as I've stated before. But my actual name if you want to find out what it is, I mean, all you have to do is search for the meaning. My name means luckless. That's right. I have the worst first name. Well, actually, no, it's not true, because I've heard worse. Uh, but that's it. That's 12 Ways I'm Weird. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I guess I'll see you on my next video. Bye.